What's up, YouTube? Got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Smashing Yo-Yos and Scales Collective Float. <laughs> is a collaboration between this Andrew Bergen from the Scales Collective and Smashing Yo-Yo Company. So, Smashing Yo-Yo Company is awesome. They do a lot of really cool designs. They are over in England, run by uh, my buddy Jordan, and uh, they make good yo-yos, period. The Smashing Yo-Yo Company makes good yo-yos, and uh, I've enjoyed everything that they've put out, and it seems like what Jordan does gets better and better and better every time, and I really appreciate that because he's always stepping up his game, and he's competing with himself. And uh, this time, they really, really nailed it. And with the help of one of my favorite players and one of my favorite people in the yo-yo community, Mr. Andrew Bergen himself. That's right, the second best yo-yo player in the world who I will hopefully have the opportunity to hang out with at Nationals. I certainly will have the opportunity to hang out with Bergie at Nationals. Uh, we've been talking about it. I'm going to get to hang out with him. But let's talk about this wonderful, beautiful, exquisite yo-yo the float. So the float came from Bergie's playing with the Crucible, which is a very light yo-yo, super duper light. Uh, Bergie was playing with the Crucible and he realized while playing with it, I talked to him about this, that a super light yo-yo like that really just moves effortlessly through the strings and it was really easy to move them through tech combos and just combos in general. Um, However, you know, the Crucible not necessarily a competition-driven yo-yo, so uh, any mistakes or anything like that uh, didn't really have the stability and the spin time to be a competition yo-yo, but he liked how light it was and how well that light yo-yo moved through the strings. So he talked with Jordan Blofeld of the Smashing Yo-Yo Company, and... More or less, they back and forth. Uh, Bergy described to Jordan what he wanted, and then Jordan sent him uh, a draft of a CAD, and then he and Bergy back and forth tweaked it. And uh, this is the brainchild of that little back and forth sesh. This is the float. So let's get into the specs of the float. The diameter of this yo-yo is 58 millimeters, so it does have a pretty big diameter. It's 45 millimeters wide, which is a pretty average width, uh, but its weight is... 59.5 grams. That is super light for a yo-yo. Usually, light yo-yos come in at like 65-ish grams, 64 grams. This is 59 and a half grams. This is crazy light. Uh, 4.6 millimeter gap width uh, allows for more string wraps. Bergy does a lot of like combos and tricks that have a lot of string wraps. Um, and this is made out of 70-75 aluminum. Now, Jordan's had a lot of success um, with 7075 aluminum and getting a lot out of it, and I think he really nailed it with this one. It's it's really good, and we'll talk about that coming down the line. Um, they are uh, going to be up for pre-sale. They're up for pre-sale right now. There are links down in the description. Um, pre-sale prices are 65 quid for solid. I don't know what that translates to in U.S. dollars, but that'll all be down in the description as well. Uh, and then it's 70 quid for a splash. Um, you're gonna want to pre-order this. Because it's amazing. Uh, it is super light, but it does not handle like it's super light. It is incredibly stable and a crazy long spinning for how light it is. Like, this thing is so light, it really shouldn't spin as long or be as stable as it is by any stretch of anybody's imagination. But it is. Uh, I, I would kind of compare it shape-wise to the only thing that I had that was sort of close, but not really, uh, is the uh, One Drop Vanguard. Uh, as you can see, they sort of share a similar, like, H, V profile. This is wider and has a bigger diameter and is way lighter than the Vanguard. Just holding them next to each other. The Vanguard feels very heavy. This feels very light, like it's like it's made of feathers. Um, here it is next to the One Drop Chick. As you can see, kind of its own, like, you know, V shape. Nothing too crazy uh, on the shape, but... Uh, Nice little cut there uh, on the inside, very aesthetically pleasing. Nice blast, it's good for grinds. Uh, you'll you'll see that when I when we throw it around. But uh, I gotta say, I, I really like this. Um, I really like Bergie as a player. He's one of my favorite players to watch. 
and uh, I think this fits his style perfectly, and uh, I really think Jordan knocked it out of the park with the design. I mean, Jordan, like I said, is just getting so good at this, and Smashing Yo-Yos just gets better and better every time. Uh, this is this is a cannot miss type of yo-yo. But uh, let's go ahead, we'll throw it around a little bit, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we are back with the Scales Collective and Smashing Yo-Yo Company's float. So uh, first thing you're going to notice when you throw this is it doesn't play as light as... It plays light, but it doesn't play 59 grams light. It plays very solidly and just feels, you know, nice. The, the One of the really nice features is that it really just kind of floats between the strings very, very easily. Uh, it is very easy to move from string to string and move it. Uh, the yo-yo takes little to no effort to get bounced around there. And really has a very good spin time for as light as it is and all that. Uh, now, this was sort of designed to maximize rim weight and you can feel that. It being 7075 aluminum, I really feel like the material was used to its greatest ability. They, they, Jordan really, really uses 7075 aluminum really, really well. He really killed it with this one. Like This is really great. Uh, the grind finish they got on it is exquisite. Very nice, very controllable, uh, a nice blast on it, a nice soft blast. Great. I mean, they did a really nice job with the grind finish. It's usually a little bit harder to get good grind finishes on 7075 aluminum because it is a harder aluminum, but uh, this one's great, and I think those little cuts in there really help facilitate nice finger grinds. Uh, it's nice and wide, too, so if you kind of have bigger fingers like I do, and uh, Bergy was talking about this as well, we have we have big guy finger, sy big, uh, finger syndrome. Um, it really... Uh, Makes for nice finger grinds. Fits in there very nicely. Uh, as far as smoothness goes, I, I mean, you know, exactly what you would expect from the Smashing Yo-Yo Company. 10 out of 10, dead smooth. No fingernail vibe. Nothing like that. I mean, this thing is butter. Uh, finger spins, not... This is very good for finger spins. If there's a con, I mean, Bergy didn't do finger spins. This isn't very good for finger spins. Uh, there's really nothing to catch you there, and you're going to kind of slip out, and that engraving does get in your way. Um, you can pull them off, but uh, just the size and the way the cup is shaped, there's really nothing to stop your finger from, like, just flapping around. Uh, so, not, not going to be the best finger spin yo-yo, but, you know, you don't need a case full of finger spin yo-yos. You don't have a yo-yo like this. I don't have a yo-yo like this that's 59 grit. Like, this is insanely light and just super nimble. Thumb grind's doable. You definitely have a little bit of a thumb grind lip. Hold on. It doesn't, like, catch your thumb and hold it, so you might have to get it on a little bit of an angle. But they're doable. I mean, otherwise, this, I mean, this is just a great yo-yo. I mean, this would be good. This is fun for just playing with, and it, it would be a great... Uh, competition throw as well and just just great overall like there's really not a bad thing to say about it unless you unless you like uh, really want finger spin yo-yo I mean this ticks all the other boxes you compete with this Bergie's gonna compete with this you compete with this you could just play it and have fun with it because it's super light and unique feeling and the binds are great it binds awesome nice tight binds even though the gap is a little bit wide the pads they use grippy enough and work well enough with the yo-yo that it binds nice. So really overall very impressed with this yo-yo. I think it's very, very good. It's an awesome next step for the Smashing Yo-Yo Company and uh, it's going to be awesome to see Bergy compete with this thing because it's, uh, it's super great. And uh, I am very excited to see Bergy and to hang out with him and to uh, see him compete with the float and to meet Jordan. Jordan will be at Nationals too, so that's very exciting. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and throw this bad boy back on the desk. We'll pop it apart, show you guys the insides. All right, guys, back on the desk. Let's take the float part. I've only taken this part once, but uh, it comes apart nicely. It's tight at the end and then just sort of unscrews nicely. 
Uh, decently long axle in there. No real worry to about uh, stripping it or anything. Um, let's take the whole thing out. See? Decently long axle. Uh, so, good design there. Shouldn't have to worry about cross-threading or anything. Plus 7075 aluminum. Pretty hard to strip 7075 aluminum yo-yo. So, uh, center track bearing. Gotta love center track bearings. I feel like they play very nice. Uh, this one spins quietly and smoothly. It's great. No issues. Um, as you can see, the design internally is very cool. Lots of little cuts and stuff there. <clears throat> and the blast goes all the way up here. Um, it's not really a step, it's sort of a little like rounded over edge before the response pad and I really like that. I like that design. It really sort of helps the yo-yo move off of the string and move into your next formation. Uh, so I'm really, really, I really like that. Uh, they use those like clear, smoky, just regular silicone pads which I feel like are great pads and they work really well in this yo-yo. The binds are nice and tight. No issues with that whatsoever. Um, I mean, it's just, it looks really good. Uh, it's a simplistic design with a couple extra little cuts in there just to kind of, you know, facilitate some shape. It, it's sort of, it's not a straight, just like VH. It kind of like swoops in just a little bit. And I think that, plus those little cuts, really help you like get some good finger grinds in there, get some good grind combos. Um, it is particularly rim weighted. It's got big rims. Uh, and a lot of weight packed into the rims, especially for how light the yo-yo is, uh, which kind of, I guess, gives you that really stable, solid feeling while maintaining a very light yo-yo. Uh, goes back together very nicely. It spins freely back together and then tight at the end. Uh, I mean, that's really how you want a yo-yo to feel when you put it back together. So uh, kudos to Jordan, kudos to Smashing Yo-Yos and to Bergie for really putting a nice, nice yo-yo design together. So let's do pros and cons. So pros, light, super light. Uh, 59.5 grams is no joke. They're doing their best to get this as light as possible while maximizing stability and spin time. And I, I really think they nailed it. Uh, I think 7075 aluminum was the right call. And uh, I, it's great. They did, I am I am blown away by how good this is. Uh, the grind finish is great. Also a harder thing to do on 7075 aluminum, but they nailed it. Very stable, long spinning, uh, great for competition, but also really fun. Like it's not a boring competition yo-yo. It's a fun, Mono metal yo-yo that really, really maximizes its potential in every way, uh, and I really, you guys know, I, I harp on that, and I really adore that, and I adore that about Smashing Yo-Yo Company because I feel like they make yo-yos that perform great, but they also are so fun to play, and they play great. So uh, this is no exception, and it really raises the bar. Uh, so they really, really did a great job. If there's any cons to speak of at all, it's that there's really no way to finger spin. But uh, I don't think that was a goal at all. Uh, finger spins aren't good on this yo-yo, but I don't think that was a goal of it. And uh, I don't think you would buy this yo-yo to be a finger spin yo-yo. Uh, if you're really good at them and better than me, you could probably get some, maybe. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't buy this as a finger spin yo-yo. But otherwise, everything else, competition, fun, just learning new tricks, whatever, this yo-yo is going to be awesome. Uh, the gap is perfect. Uh, really facilitates extra string wraps without losing spin time or getting things caught up. Uh, I mean, I really just think that they put enough attention to detail into this yo-yo that they really got everything just about perfect for what Bergie wanted. And I think uh, after talking to him and after having played with this for a few days, uh, it's awesome. So uh, this is not a yo-yo you're going to want to miss. Uh, Pre-order links are down in the description. You are going to want to pick one of these up because it's phenomenal. Uh, so kudos to Bergie, kudos to Smashing Yo-Yo Company, and Jordan, you guys really did a great job, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys at the end of the month uh, in Chicago at Nationals, and uh, we should have a good time, we should all hang out, have a beer together, but uh, that's going to do it for me today, guys, thanks so much for watching, please make sure you like and subscribe, I do videos every, mostly every day, like six days a week, at least, in the summertime, but uh, thanks for watching, guys, cheers to you, I'll see you next time.